you were talking about morality, and you were saying morality is related directly to mortality. <laughs> and your morality may change as you get closer to your mortality. Talk about that for a second. Well, sure. You know, interestingly enough, that's the most important philosophical line in my novel, The Transhumanist Wager. And a lot of what I'm even doing as a futurist is sort of based on the popularity of that book a few years ago, which, um, you know, did very well in philosophy and sold very well. So um, basically the idea or the, the line is that, you know, our morality, humans' morality, is, dis is determined by the amount of time we have left to live. And you can see this even in war zones. If you feel you're about to be killed, you act quite differently than you would right now during an interview when, you know, you're going to go have lunch afterwards in a little bit and, you know, have a, you have a nice life. So one's morality is actually determined in, by context and determined by the amount of time they have left to live. And I often think this is very important because one of the main, you know, purposes of the transhumanist uh, movement and in in its entire agenda is to try to make people live longer and hopefully conquer death. And as people get older, I believe they have more of a reason to spend more resources, more time, and more passion in trying to overcome death, especially in the 21st century when it's a very good, a lot of experts will say that within 10, 15, 20 years, we might have the power to stop aging and reverse aging. There's already been some successful tests done in mice. We have 3D printing of organs happening. We can might even be able to do mind uploading in 20 years. There's a lot of different ways to conquer death and overcome biological uh, human death with technology and science. And so this idea of morality changing the closer we get to death is a very important, I think, transhumanist concept. And uh, so a lot of people talk about it. And uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's very important to me, especially as I've been a journalist in war zones. And I can tell you, the closer you get to almost dying, uh, your perception changes. I think there is no way anybody could deny that.